What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel, The Flame and Sister Co, where I show y'all how to create um, handmade candles as well as take y'all on my journey of becoming a successful businesswoman. And in today's video, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be testing some wicks for some vessels that I want to bring into my um, collection. Really, I'm swapping out vessels for my signature collection. So I have to test some wicks for those. So that's what we're going to be doing. But before we do get too far into testing these wicks, I need y'all to make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers and as well as I think I want to do some type of giveaway. When I get to 500, 500 subscribers, I just don't know what I'm going to be giving away. So please help me get there and also make sure y'all like and comment like this video let me know this is the type of comment content that y'all like to see and then comment and let me know what y'all do like to see if this is not what y'all want to see so with all of that being said we're going to go ahead and jump into this video of testing out these wicks because it is going to be a long process okay y'all so i'm about to get ready to weigh up all my fragrance for all three vessels um these are the vessels that i am using this is the 12 ounce Aurora vessel from Maxi. I've had these a while now, um, so I just wanna go ahead and test out because I wanna switch over my old um, three wick vessels. I love the three wick vessels. I think I'm just gonna look for some different ones. So until then, I just want to go ahead and switch over these to my signature collection. And that way it'll match all my other vessels as well. I'm also, for my fragrance, all three are going to be the same fragrance. I'm going to be using my Sea Breeze, which includes Beechwood from Candle Science and Limoncello um, Cream from Candle Science as well. The most important thing, though, we are going to be using the Maxi Cotton Wick. These are the 70 and then the 73s. I'm going to be using these to double wick. For the Aurora 12 ounce vessels, Maxi does recommend to do 75 cotton wick. Um, and then for single, they recommend the 90. Don't mind my label, couldn't find another one. But they um, require re recommend the 91 cotton wick from them. I've tested these before. If you've seen on my story, I tested the 90s and the 70s together. I did the double wick for the 70 and then the 90 by itself. Really wasn't feeling the 90. I'm sorry, I keep calling the 90. It's a 91. Really wasn't feeling the 91 because I didn't like that burned, but we're gonna see with this retest. I did kind of sort of like the 70, but I could have, I do feel like it was a little bit too small. Um, for this vessel so I did want to go up to a 73 after looking and seeing that they recommend a 75 for it um, I kind of can see that but I think if I go up to the 73 it's going to do what I want it to do and then also when I did the double wick testing the first time with the 91 it um, the double wick had a better hot throw the 91 did give a hot throw but not really a hot throw and if y'all are wondering, I get all my, I'm going to put a screenshot up of how I calculate my fragrance. I'll do a screen record and show y'all all of that. But I need, for all three of these, I need 92 grams of fragrance for all three. So we're going to go ahead and measure that out. And I go back and forth. I'm trying to. It's mostly a beechwood smell. 
but when you add the lemon cello in it, lemon sorry, yeah, the lemon cello cream, it adds some more sweetness to it that I like, but still that beech wood gives it that cleanliness. So and it reminds me of and the beech wood, it does remind me of the beach smell. And I love the beach. So hence that's why it's called Sea Breeze. Y'all check it out when my signature collection come back. Yes. Exactly what I wanted. So because we have our fragrance, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. And I'm going to now measure out my wax. Got to measure it out in here. I usually just put it in my, in my, in my Presto pot. I usually just put um, the wax straight into my Presto pot. But because I just want to go ahead and make the exact amount. Um, that I need and in grams these hold it's 12 ounces fill weight but in grams that's 340 grams I do everything in grams I don't, I don't know I don't like uh, ounces so I need 927 grams of wax and this is virgin coconut soy wax from Macy I will make sure I link everything I'm using in this video down below if you want to check it out or try it so I'm gonna change my gloves y'all put the wax in the wax melter and I'll come back when I get ready to wake up my wicks I mean my vessels Okay, y'all, so I am ready to pour my wax. I already poured it in, mixed in the fragrance for two minutes. Um, so, and when I like to pour my candles, I always like to weigh out my candles. It's just something that I have gotten in the habit of doing, and I don't think it's a bad habit. Um, so, and also when you're pouring, um, when you're testing your wick candles, your wick candles, when you're testing your wicks in your candles, um, is best hold on y'all it is some people make half candles I make whole candles when I'm testing I went over on that one I make whole candles when I'm testing um, and that's just because that's what I like to do if you want to you can make half candles it's that's where it really matters when you're doing wit testing is when it comes to half of the candle because that's where the heat is going to be held so when you test it that way you'll really be able to see how well your candle um, burns and I'm sorry y'all you'll be able to see how well your can your wick burns if it's burning too hot if it's mushrooming um, if it's sitting too fast You'll be able to see all of that when it gets in the middle. So that's why a lot of people do half candles. I just like to do whole candles. Um, that's just me. So when you're testing, test how you want to test with when you're filling up your vessels. And the importance of testing your wicks is to again make sure you always have a good hot throw make sure the candle is safe um you don't want to sell something that is not safe for your customers and also that's a liability on you so you don't want to be out here selling liabilities you know always make sure the candles are safe so that's the biggest reason to make sure you're testing also, you're testing because, like for me, I like my candles to burn a long time. So, that's what I test for as well. I test for a wick that is going to give me edge-to-edge -edge, um, burn. But also, I want it to take at least two hours to get to a full edge-to-edge. -edge, but not make the candle work. Not make the wick work too hard to do that, if it makes sense. So, I'm hoping the 73 
works for me because the 70 the 70 it did what I needed it to do I'm not going to hold it it did do what I needed it to do it gave a great great hot throw it was much better than the 91 I'll say that again it was much better than the 91 so I did like that um so I'm hoping it's I'm hoping the 73 gives me what I'm looking for, but I could be wrong. So I could be going back to the drawing board and we may have to see what the 75 does. But I'm hoping I find it at the 73. I kind of don't want to go up to a 75. I just feel like it's not going to burn how I want it to burn. And I'm sorry I keep stopping y'all, but it is very important. I make sure I get my wicks centered because that's going to play a part in my wick testing. So, yeah. And I let these sit cure um, for at least 72 hours. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be 100% with y'all. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I may not let it do the full 72 hours. It may be burning tomorrow, so 24 hours. So I can see what the 73 is doing. I kind of already know what the 91 and the 70 is going to do so yeah we have everything set up let me show y'all we have everything here set up for our candles as far as with the testing as y'all see we have the 70 the 73 and the 91 I'm going to go ahead and let these set up. I need to clear some space off of my SD card so we can continue with this testing. Y'all probably won't see me again until tomorrow or I'll show y'all how they smooth out. If I need to do any like heat gunning on it, I doubt it because the virgin coconut soy always do what I need it to do. I do have some build up on the sides, but I really don't care about that. That's just from when I moved it. Um, so yeah, y'all probably won't see me again until tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess off my table, put everything back where it needs to go, let these do what they need to do to set up, and then again, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow when I get ready to trim the wicks. And we're going to start testing them tomorrow. Okay, y'all. So we're about to burn the candles. I'm about to light them up. I just want to let y'all see how they look after they have set. I only let them cure for 24 hours. As I told y'all earlier, I wasn't going to do the 72 hours. So I'm about to go ahead and light each one of these up. Once I light them up, I'll show y'all what the initial flame looks like on them. And then I'll check back in in probably like an hour or two hours. It's going to be a couple of seconds for y'all. But I'll show y'all what they look like as soon as I light them up. Okay, y'all. So I have lit the candle. Um, don't mind that. I don't even know where that come from. But anyways, I have lit the candles. We have the 91 here, which is the single wick. And the wick that Maxi recommends for the 12 ounce for their 12 ounce Aurora if you're doing cotton wicks. This is the 73. This is the one I am rooting for. As y'all can see, pretty good starting out with the good little melt pool for both. This is the 70. I can already kind of tell it's behind the 73 and the 90. To me, these two kind of already look the same, and it's only been not even five minutes yet. 
but anyways um again this is the 70 73 and 91 we're rooting for the 73 91 i'm just testing because if i can't find a double wick to make to fit i'm just gonna go with the 91 and i do want to again like i said test it because when i tested them earlier the 91 didn't give me the hot throw that i wanted right now i'm just burning right now for the the melt pool and then afterwards i'm going to put them in different areas of the house my house ain't but so big so i'm gonna have to figure that out i'm putting them in different areas of the house so i can see how they are performing as far as the smell with the wick um but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and let them burn so i can see what my melt pool is looking like and i'll get back with y'all like i said in like an hour maybe two hours so I'll let y'all know what we're seeing, what we're doing, the funds of testing your wicks. Okay, y'all, so it has been about, I'll say about almost two hours since I lit the candles. And so this is the 73. It is doing okay. It is burning to the pace I want it to burn. It is giving off the proper heat that I needed to give off to get the proper edge to edge, which I do feel like I am going to get. As y'all see, it has already went this way. We're just not needing it to go this way. Also, with the 70, this one is surprisingly burning faster, just by a little bit more faster than the 70. I'm sorry than the 73 so that's a surprise for me um, I do like how the 70 um, is burning it is it is closer it's more even burn on the side to side because with the 73 you can still see this side has a little bit more this side has more than this side basically and with the 70 both sides are pretty even not too much dancing over the with the flame um i am moving over it fanning my hands over them so that's why y'all see them flickering now the 91 it's a little bit disappointing i ain't gonna lie to y'all it is a little bit disappointing but i am going to let it burn for about two more hours it does look like it's starting to pick up, but I can tell that it is more sinking in the middle. Um, and also when I put my hand over it, it's not as hot. Now I put my hand over the 73, way more heat. I can't put my hand that long. And then the same thing with the 70. Um, it is giving off more heat than the 91. I'm really not gonna waste too much more energy or vessels on testing the 91 in this in this vessel. Trust me, I am gonna use those wicks. I just gotta figure out how and what vessels I'm gonna use them in. But um, I'm it's gonna be down to the 70 and the 73. Now the 91, I am gonna let her burn. She is gonna burn. But I am going to. As far as what I'm going to use in my signature line with these two wicks, it may be, I'm going to probably get one more because I do want to just see if I go, I guess, go up with them. That's the kind of, that's what I need to research too, because as I'm telling y'all, um, like I said, the 70 is burning faster than the 73. And I would think because it's a 73, the number would be bigger but that's not what I'm getting in my results so I'm just going to keep testing that's the most expensive part about making candles is testing is not making a product or nothing like nothing like that it's when you're getting new vessels and you need to figure out how they're gonna work what's gonna work in them so the wick testing is the most expensive part but it's really really worth it especially if you want a good burning candle um i am getting good hot throw i can't tell y'all which one is being the best hot throw and y'all i'm standing behind the camera because i 
I'm dressed for bed. So, um, but anyways, I am getting a good hot throw off of them. I just can't tell y'all which one is doing what. But I do feel like it's, it's out of the 70 and the 73. So, we're going to come back in maybe another two hours. If I don't come back in another two hours today, I will show y'all tomorrow after I burn it for about two more hours tomorrow to see. But I'm probably going to show y'all tonight before I blow the candles out. I don't want to blow my candles out. I hate blowing out a candle when it has not burned edge to edge. So we will be burning these candles edge to edge so that I can blow them out. And well, this one, I don't know. It's kind of speeding up. I'm not, as I'm talking to y'all, it is getting bigger. It is giving a edge to edge. I am going to give the 91 a fair chance. Like I said, I am going to burn it again, test it again tomorrow. It's going to go through the same process as a 70 and a 73. But right now, because I do want a double wick candle, I'm probably just going to be looking at the 70 and the 73. The 91, I may do for another candle line in this vessel that's just hints of something coming up for my candle line but anyways i'm getting off track um topic and i'm just rambling so we are going to come back in the next two hours so i can see what these two here are doing and again i'm really liking the 73 it doesn't look like it's doing that good but it really is Especially because I want a really slow burning candle. I don't want nothing that's going to burn when I, if you burn it for four hours and then you burn it for your next four hours the next day. Whenever you light your candle, it's gone. I don't want to just get two uses out of the candle. I at least want the candle to last. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to come up with that. That's what I'm doing next. That's also with what I'm testing and all of that. But anyways, I'll let y'all know. What we decide and what we're looking like in the next two hours or maybe an hour hour and a half so yeah i'll see y'all then okay y'all so i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i was gonna come on here like i just continued no i went to sleep last night when i was testing i did put the clips in here for when it was first burning this is my second burn when i woke up it probably was like four o'clock i started burning these last night at like 12 o'clock so they burnt for four hours and if y'all can see the main one is this one the 91 which is recommended for this vessel and it's still got wax on the side even after burning for four hours on this one y'all can see it it is almost like it was before I've been burning these since 4 30 it is currently like almost six o'clock now so these have been burning for like an hour and a half so that's pretty decent um but as y'all can see everything is i am getting still an edge to edge burn on this one i'm getting a little bit of soot and on this one my wick is leaning for both i don't know why they're leaning but they are and this is the 73 this is the one that i want to use but after looking at the second burn it looked like it's burning a little bit faster then the 70 and if y'all seen that black smoke come off of the 70 that's what i don't want none has come off of the 73 70 is banging heat y'all because i feel it on my hand over here it's banging some heat out so i don't know again as i stated it is going to be between as i stated last night it's going to be between the 73 and the 70 so i'm going to leave y'all right here to if y'all want to figure out which wick i actually go with make sure y'all follow me on instagram i'm gonna let everything come up um i don't know why i'm not talking to y'all but here we go so make sure y'all follow me on instagram if y'all want to see exactly which wick i choose I'm a hit. I'm leaning, slightly leaning to the 73. I think I want to do one more test before I actually pick. And more and more, I talk to y'all, the 70 is giving off soot. I don't like that. So, and then the 91 is also giving off soot. 
it shouldn't have no reason to give off no soot because it ain't even burning edge to edge. So the 70 and the 7 I'm sorry, the 70 and the 91 is going to be put out. They are out, so that only leaves the 73. But we are gonna run some more tests. So if y'all want to see me test the 73 again along with probably two more wicks. Let me know that in the comments. If not, I'll do all that behind the scenes and I'll pop out and let y'all know what I have. Once we start making our signature candles, I am so close to start making my signature candles and getting them back on my website. That is something that I'm working on really, really hard so that I can be done with this and then start working on a new collection that I've been planning. I've been planning this new collection that I'm coming out with for almost a year, y'all so i'm really excited to start working on that so with all of that being said make sure y'all please subscribe to my channel as i said at the beginning i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers help me get to 500 subscribers so i can come up with some type of giveaway to give to y'all um so make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all like the video and comment as well and i'll see y'all in the next video and as always make sure you have a great day Spur.